All right, guys. After my last video uh, unboxing the MK42 from or Bio or our Bello or however you say it, don't know. Um, I got a mass amount of comments on comments, com really comments on my video saying what people wanted done. Okay, mass amounts may be the wrong word. I had two, two, two comments, but both of them said the same thing, and one of them being my daughter figured that's probably the way I was going to go is to put it on my Franken frame okay so I looked and I laid it up and and there's plenty of room X on the Y axis for the bed I have room on the X axis for the bed the problem is the way that I had to piece Franken frame together with the X carriage and the X axis, Z axis, whatever you want to call it, carriages. I had to piece those together because uh, the AM8 ones don't, that are out there, there's not really any. They want you to use your A8 ones. So either one, I'm going to have to change this to the MK2 style of carriages, motor mounts and stuff like I did on my DIY MK2S over here. Or, I'm going to have to change the way these are done. So, it's a whole lot. Not, I'm going to say it's a whole lot, but for anybody that does YouTube videos or anything else, you know that it's it takes you, not maybe not twice as long, but almost twice as long to do anything on video as it does just doing it. Because you're, you're trying to make decent content and... I'm looking at this printer because I really want to do this change, but I want to take this printer to Murph. And seeing how, what is that? Uh, let me pull up the calendar here. That is, I have one, two weeks to do that. I don't think that I could do a series on putting this bed on there justice. Now, I could set that over on my desk, make all the changes with no video, and then bam, show you the video with it on it. I don't want to do that because I, I screwed up the videos of building this machine. So I'd like to show it off a little bit on video. Um, Cause I, I actually, it prints really well in the configuration it's in now, really, really well. And I hate to mess that up. Um, there are a couple things that I wanted to do before Murph, but I'm probably not going to do those either because in the true spirit of what it is I want it to be like it is I wanted to upgrade the power supply because I used the original one that came with my a8 which is a 20 amp power supply with no fan I, I've bought the power supply I, I redesigned the mini Rambo case that comes on the Prusa mark 2 to fit the 2040 extrusions it's on my other printer over here, and I would love to put this one in that. I've got wires hanging all out and, and that type of thing on the case now. I'm not going to do that either. I may screw the cover on the one that I have, but I'm not. I, I really don't feel with just two weeks I can make the changes that I want to make properly and, and properly document them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save those changes until after Murph. Um, I will then properly shoot the videos, do the changes that need to be changed on Frankenframe because I am going to keep this printer. Whether or not, whether or not I keep it in its exact current, because right now it is a fantastic printer. And then I know I'm rambling again, but that's what this video is about. I'm talking out my options um, but the the printer is working so well I hate to mess with it at all I hate to pack it up and move it take it to Murph because I know that something's gonna happen something's gonna something um, I am going to after going to Gainesville Maker Fair on my way back I broke a belt tensioner um, packing this the printer the the mk2s clone that i made 
I broke a belt tensioner. So when I got home, I had the Franken frame and I printed another one. Um, I'm probably going to print some of that to take to Murph, just because. I'm going to take my toolbox, just to, just because. I'm going to take extra parts, just because. But I don't, I don't feel that right now I can do that video justice like it needs to be done. And I'm trying to get better at the YouTube thing. So I, I really, really, really think I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to put the covers back on where they go. Um, and I am going to take this to Murph. Once I get back from Murph, I still don't want to dismantle it. But I, I, since those are my comments, instead of building a whole new one, um, I am going to put it on this one. And the thing is, I think it deserves this bed. If this bed works anything like the, the MK42 from Prusa, that printer deserves this bed because this printer is fantastic. And, and when I take it to Murph, if you're at Murph, you'll see what I'm talking about. Because this, this printer, minus the hard parts and electronics, probably cost me $40 for the frame and, and filament. Filament's cheap. It doesn't have to be the best quality. You can get really good prints out of, out of lower quality or, or I'm not even going to say lower quality. I'm going to say less expensive filament. Um, and this is pieced together. I've got some pieces that are see-through blue. I've got some pieces that are PLA orange, some pieces that are ABS orange, and then some that are another color PLA orange. Um, it just it, it worked out really well. I was amazed at, at how well it worked out. Even though, you know, it's just printing 2040 extrusions and putting them together like 2040 extrusions, I am amazed at how sturdy it actually is. Is it cheaper to print? Not by much. Um, I think I built the the DIY MK2 frame out of 2040 extrusions. I think it was just for the extrusions. I think it was like fifty-six dollars. So if you go just with the extrusions on the Franken frame, you're talking about two rolls of filament of PLA. So depending on what you get your PLA for, you could print it for twenty-two dollars, and then yeah, you do save a lot of money. But you also have about a hundred hours worth of printing just for this size frame now if you go up to the size that i did on the mk2 which i don't have anything that'll print that size i'd have to glue them together i built that one so that i could print this one uh in full lengths without having to glue um i just don't i don't think you know i, I think you can save money by printing it and, and the quality is it as sturdy as the aluminum yes do I have to be more careful with it? Yes, because it will break. Aluminum is not going to break. You might bend it or dent it or, oh, I dropped my microphone. Bend it or dent it or whatever. Um, but anyway, this video was about the, the MK42 build and putting it on Frankenframe. And I just don't, don't think I'm going to attempt that before Murph. I am going to take it off of the table where it's at, move it over here, get everything buttoned up and tidied up for Murph. But that's basically just going to be cosmetic stuff, making sure that the wires aren't just flayed all out like they are currently, because currently they are just flopping out over there. I want to at least tidy that up. Um, but yeah, so I'll have to think of some other some other uh, videos between now and, and then, uh, maybe one or two. I've got uh, uh, about six or seven rolls of filament coming in today. I may actually film those and show you what they are um my favorite filaments and and you can see in the background some um are the d d d d d these right oh there there um 3d solutech has been rock solid as far as across the board now i have some uh, hatchbox filaments as well and they're fantastic now i have gotten some bad ones um and i don't even remember the name it was a some no name it was like eleven dollars for a kilogram of pla and it was brittle but anyway just just back to the thing um i'm not putting an intro i'm not cutting this video i'm not doing anything to this video i'm gonna save it 
I'm going to upload it to YouTube as it is uh, because I just wanted to give you my thoughts on putting the MK42 on the Frankenframe. I want to do this comparison between the two beds because the cost of the, and if they allow you to buy one, of the MK42 from Prusa, I think it was $81 plus $60 in shipping. So it's like $140. The one from Orbayo or Balo or however you want to say it in Spain was, I think, $61 and $6 shipping. So if you're going to build clones and you want an MK42 or you want an MK2, MK2S type machine, the firmware can be changed. It's open source. So it's just a matter of making sure that you measure where that first point is correctly so you don't crash your head. But if, if, if that works and it works as well or, or close to as well, I can see putting a kit together with these MK, these, these uh, MK42 beds from Orbello. I'm, I'm not going to say that rivals the MK2 because it doesn't. They do all the R&D and all that stuff. But for a for a home DIY person like me that loves to tinker, that loves to build, that's the, that's a great solution. It took it a while to get here. Not not as long as my MK3 is from Prusa, but it's it's the quality and the build, the opening look pretty good. I've got to get some, uh, I've got a little bit of captain tape, but I don't think I've got anything that I can, I don't know, we'll see. But I'm going to put this bed together after Murph. I'm going to put it on a printer after Murph. I'll make the modifications to the Frankenframe printer. That will actually then help me if I want to move forward with that type of build. Because really and truthfully, I think for the amount of money that I can put in it and do it myself. I come out with a better product for maybe just a touch more money than pretty much any of the Chinese kits that you can buy. Um, because I will be running Prusa's firmware with just the bed location tweaks on it. Um, the Penda probe in here from Orbalo looks exactly like the Penda probe from Prusa. Is it? I don't know. We will see. Um, I mean, stepper motors are cheap. All your guide rods, your, your linear rods, your lead screws, cheap. Belts are cheap. LCD screens are cheap. Anyway, I digress. Uh, this video has just been a ramble. It is 12 minutes long, and that's plenty long enough. This is Walter from Country 3D. If you got any comments, leave them down below. Hit the like, subscribe, ring the bell, get it done. Um, more for more about 3d printing and, and things of such nature so we will be moving along it's just it's going to be after murph before i do this project so there's my update i'll see y'all on the flip side